This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So example number one. There's only one example. This is a typical set common um, section C question. Um, probably for 15 marks, I would say. A 15 mark section C. Um, and as I explained earlier, this is for sole traders, partnerships, limited companies. You could get that the profit at the beginning or the the, um, the answer at the end is a loss. And therefore you have to move on from that question and deal with the loss. Um, it will come up somewhere. So make sure that you're um, fully aware um, of where we are at. This is typical in the sense that now what they've done is they've actually given you a set of accounts so these are the accounts gross profit and these are some of the expenses and then you'll as you read down you'll note that there are notes all the way down uh, you see there one and they've all got little headings on private accommodation motor expenses professional fees repairs and renewals etc etc um, and they are highlighted here notes one two three and so on and so forth. What is rarely in those notes is this one. Don't forget it. And that's the one that you should put in your answer first. So what I intend to do now is to go through this question and explain the notes and the words as we're going along. Then I'm going to advise you to pause the recording and attempt to do the answer yourself. And then I will go through the answer for you so that you can see. Now, you could just sail on through the recording and just watch it all the way through and not bother. But it is important that you do have an attempt because you'll be surprised at how much you actually know from what we're going to be going through. Because um, you can read, uh, listen to the recording again, obviously. So this is our starting point. That's our starting point. Um, we've got their depreciation that needs to be added back because it is a disallowed expense because basically it's an estimate. Revenue don't like estimates. Okay, let's look at each one of these individually. So we have Jeremy and his wife live in a flat above the clothing shop of the expenditure included in the statement of profit and loss for two things so that will be yep you can see them light and heat rent and rates so light and heat rent and rates 40 percent relates to the flat okay so 40 percent of those two expenses you need to add back you need to work them out you've done a calculation you've done uh, where's the figure? Three thousand nine hundred pounds times forty percent equals whatever the figure you work out, because you are going to work it out. Show that calculation. Show the examiner that you picked the question out of the 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 figure out of the question. You've read the note carefully. You've worked out the percentage, and then show. Don't just show the answer. Show the process as with all of these things with tax. For both of them, light and heat, rent and rates. Motor expenses. Now, during the year, he drove 12,000 miles, 9,000 of which is private expenses and needs to be added back because it's private. It's not wholly and exclusively For the business so you know that 9,000 of those 12,000 miles times the expense needs to be added back professional fees that's okay accountancy that's normal expenditure it's a trade expenditure uh, debt collection is also um, um, an expenditure so we need to think about that one. I'm just going to leave that one hanging. I'll let you decide whether that's 
something um, that needs to be added back. Is it capital or is it not? Okay, I'll let you decide because you are going to have a go at this, aren't you? Okay, now included in the, there's 250 there linked to capital gains. Okay, that is not a business expense. So every item in a question like this, this is why you can see it's a 15 marker, every item you need to think about, every single thing that's there. Repairs and renewals. 2,200 included for decorating the shop. Okay, I would think that was okay. And, oh, look at this. For decorating the flat. What do you think we're going to do with that? That's a private expense. Needs to be added back. Sundries. Gifts to customers. Rule was £50 unless food. That's got to be added back. Okay. But the gifts to customers with pens with an advert, they're fine. Okay. Now we made a a hundred pound donation to a oh there it is national charity that's not allowed needs to be added back but then look at this one 40 pounds to a local charity and it's got an advert in it so that's fine that's allowable now the figure of wages, 84,825, includes annual salary of that paid to his wife. She works as a clothing assistant, sales assistant. The other ones earn only that much. That's excessive. Why? Because he's got a wife. So add back the difference. And the difference being £4,500. Goods for own use. During the year, he took clothes out of the shop for his personal use without paying or accounting for them. Okay. They cost 460 And he's the selling price of them is 650 Now, because he didn't account for them, the whole figure needs to be added back. Now, capital allowances. This is a cap. This this figure has been done for you, and if you remember from the pro forma, that needs to be deducted. It's an allowable expense instead of the depreciation. All right, so. In the actual exam, it says you will be required to prepare a computation and work this figure out, but you haven't got to that point yet in the um, lecture notes. So we've just given you the figure at this point and you are to calculate his tax adjusted trade profits for the year ended 31st of May 2022. So I would like you now to pause the recording and have a go yourself. And then come back to me when you've had a note, when you've written it all out, use the pro forma, come back to me and I will um, go through the answer for you. So the answer, I hope you attempted it yourself. Now, I want you to look at your answer and not to focus on what you got wrong. I want you to focus on what you got right, because in an exam, the examiner is going to give you marks for what you got right, not what you got wrong. Now, in a question like this, where there's a list of things, you're normally going to get half a mark for each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, no, maybe not all of those. So half of that one maybe half of that one but that would be a whole mark 
that would be half, 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 maybe half of that one, half, 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 one, half, half. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half, maybe eight marks. So see that how I've marked it there? Can you mark yours now? See whether or not, see how many you got. I bet you'd be surprised at how many you got right. I bet you'd be surprised. So you should have added back the depreciation. Did you start with net profit per account? I hope you did. 30,200. Uh, that's a copying exercise. You should have got that one right. And depreciation is a copying exercise. So you should have got that one right too. We talked about 40%, didn't we, of the light and heat and the rent and rates. And you see how clearly it's marked there. Motor expenses. He did 9,000 private miles times the expense. That personal tax there, that was to do with the gains, wasn't it? Purchase of the new shop. I didn't tell you about that one, did I? I'll let you decide that one for yourself. It was capital. Purchase of a new shop, it's capital. So that would be taxed under capital gains, tax that expense. Uh, the private decorating, the food irrespective of how much has been um, spent. Um, the national charity has been added back, the excessive salary has been added back, and the own consumption in full has been added back. Now you notice how it's laid out, so it's been indented. It's probably the best way to do it. Um, then to total that up, and it comes to 18,000, we've added these back. 18,860 giving adjusted profits of 49,000 take off the capital allowances now that gives you an adjusted profits now sometimes with these exam questions and when you get your BPP manual you'll see these in there um, it might be worth practicing those I think there's one also in the um, examples at the end the additional questions sometimes they give you instructions of where to start and they tell you to look at every item and sometimes to put in zero where there is no adjustment every time you do that and put in a zero and it's correct you'll get half a mark and obviously that would extend it from probably eight marks through to about 14 marks um, they can come up as big uh, big questions so follow the instructions so i do hope you did well with that one you can now practice the question, uh, question number eight, there it says there, in an exam question in section C, to ensure that students deal with all the items, students are required to put in a zero adjustment for any items that do not require adjustments. And that will get you half a mark every time. Okay, so do it, do it, do it, do it, please. And now you can do practice question eight.